Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Voice of South Africa, the singing competition unlike any other because it puts vocal abilities first. Tonight, three judges set out to discover their teams of tens. Right now, John Harrison has two more artists to find. You have to pick out the right voice. A white man's voice always has a good, powerful tune. Arthur Jarvis also has two spots left to fill. I am looking for someone who has the right voice. And Zimangu is also on the hunt of his remaining two artists. Let's see who he's looking for. An artist with a voice full of love is what I'm looking for. As the search and fighting their team concludes, the competition is fiercer and fiercer. Tonight, once again, the coaches have their backs to the stage. First up, let's bring out Gertrude Kamala from Claremont. Isn't that one of the dirtiest places in Johannesburg? Anyway, let's make her feel welcome. I'm actually pretty excited for my performance. I can't say I'm nervous. All of our judges are men. I mean, I'm just so used to having any men look at me. is not as strong. It pays me to watch your performance. You must be very sick. Perhaps it is not that kind of sickness. Perhaps it is your voice. Thank you for auditioning. Perhaps next year. It appears to me that us white men need to educate these cafes in the right kind of music. And you need to work on that voice of yours. Maybe you should brush your teeth before you audition. I can smell the cheap whiskey from your breath. Nothing can compare to my whiskey at home, of course. Our natives today produce criminals and prostitutes and drunk wits. Not because it is in our nature to do so, but because their simple system of order and tradition and convention has been destroyed. It was destroyed by the impact of our own civilization. I'm sorry that Gertrude's audition has turned out this way. Our next contest then is John Kamala from Johannesburg. Let's wish him the best of luck. My name is John Kamalo and I am a carpenter, but that's not all I do. You see, I'm a politician and I'm here to show you what my voice is made of. Just wait and see. This is my moment. And, and I'll be singing an original. Everybody better support and applause. Once again, the judges did not turn their chair. John Kamala's voice did not please the judges. Man, he wasn't singing, he was roaring, roaring like a lion. Actually, he sounds like a bull. Let's see how the judges feel about John's raging performance. You filthy kafir, how dare you sing such a thing? 
How dare you ask for so many things when we've already given you such a good life? Now get off that stage and get out of my sight before I call security. John, you have a great voice, but it's not the one we're looking for. About your song, I hope not every man in Africa feels the same way you do. Oh, how we have destroyed these men. Why, well, God has given you such a powerful voice. A voice of a lion, a voice of a bull. Truthfully, I am very impressed by your voice, but I did not press my button because of your poor choice of song. Your voice is not meant for that song. I'm not a Kafir hater. I try to give them a square deal, decent wages, a clean room at my house. Just ask my servants. What more can they ask for? But these Kafirs are dark and dangerous, I tell you. They've even started trade unions. They're threatening to strike here in the mines for 10 shillings a day. Why are they so greedy, asking for money and a good life? Don't they have one already? They get good balanced food and God knows what. That John Kamalo, that ungrateful song. It seems like our judges are very picky today. Let's see if our next contestant is able to capture their hearts. Next up, we have Father Vincent. Hello, my name is Father Vincent from England. I've been assigned to the Mission House in Johannesburg for quite a while now. Coming to the show is pretty nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. I doubt myself with fear of not getting chosen. I thought about it, and if the judges, judges don't like my voice, then it's okay. Sorrow is better than fear. Fear is a journey, a terrible journey. But sorrow is at least an arriving. I won't give up on music. When you're down and trouble and you need a helping hand and nothing or oh, nothing is going. And soon I will be there to brighten up even your darkest night. You just call up my name and you know wherever I am, I'll come running. And I'll be there, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got a friend. Splendid performance. Look at that. A white man with a great voice. I bet you all the ladies fall for you. Look at your rosy cheeks. You definitely need to be on my team. I want you on my team. I think we will work well together. And I love the song. It's about peace and reconciliation. And helping one another, right? I think we can work something out. All you need is pick me as a coach. Your voice is full of love. I love it. I can feel your soul and passion while singing. There's only one thing that has power completely, and that is love. Because when a man loves, he seeks no power and therefore has power. And that is why your voice is so powerful. Wow, I didn't think all of you guys would turn. This really means a lot to me. This is so hard. I don't really know who to choose. John, you're a great singer. I mean, I really admire you and your success. And Arthur, wow, you're not, o you're not only an amazing artist, but also an amazing songwriter. I mean, your songs are so honest and they speak the truth. And Tamengu, I just love your voice. It's so new and fresh and brilliant. You, you have a golden voice. I think I'm going to have to go with Tamengu. I really love to have you as my coach. 